Hi, I'm Dale Fredericks, and I'm standing here with Grady Puffin. Grady's about 17 months old now, so it'll be another seven months or so before I can start riding him. However, in the meantime, there's a lot of things I can do to make that to make that transition a lot easier. So once I do get to the riding stage, it's just going to be another small step in the in the process of his education. So today I'm going to show you how I how I introduce him to to neck reining. And before you start something like this, I think you should have your horse pretty gentle and and used to being handled. And it would be a big help too if you would follow our the steps in our first video on advanced leading. Is then if you follow that video, your horse is going to already know about the word woe. He's going to know about the pressure on the halter on the nose band here. He's going to know about clucking and tapping with the dressage whip. That, that means to go faster or to go. And he's also going to be somewhat aware of your, your body, where your body position is. Oh yes, and he's also going to be used to going on a predominantly, predominantly loose line. So what I have here, I have a, a, a rope halter and I've got about a 22 foot lunge line. It's fairly heavy, so he'll be able to feel it across his neck. And wh what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some reins out of, out of this in a lead rope, kind of like the Makate on a hackamore. So I'm going to loop it over his neck, and then I'm going to run the tail through this ring here. And I'm going to get the reins about how the length that I like that I want. And then I'm just going to make a half hitch around both reins like this. Just to tie it off. And then I'm going to put the lead rope. I'm going to tuck the extra in my belt. And you don't want to have this so short that it's going to be sending signals to your horse. And you don't want to have it so long that he might step in it either. So somewhere in between. And I start him along the fence. Because at first we've got our colt used to leading in about this position. But now we're going to start asking him to go ahead of us a little bit. I'm going to be more back here. So at first he's probably going to be a little confused. And if you have them up against the wall, it'll keep them from going away from you. So I'm, I've got my dressage whip in my right hand, and I'm going to get the reins, the left rein in my left hand and the right rein in my right hand. I'm going to cluck them to go ahead. And at first, they're not going to know what to do. Because they're used to you being up here. So just bear with them, and if it takes two or three lessons to get just to get this across, that's fine, just go ahead and do that. But once you've got them where they're traveling ahead along the wall, then you can start taking them off. And I'm just going to use my outside rein here. I'm just going to lay it across his neck a little bit. If I need to, I'm going to use my inside rein to pull him. So again, lay it across and then follow up the inside rein if I need to. Like this. And then once I've got that going, I'm going to go the other way, to the right. And this is where I feel like you can really get something done because you can use your body to kind of push them over too. You want to be really aware of what your hands are doing. And we can gradually just Take them smaller and smaller. We can bump them over with our body on the shoulder. Ride them ahead, or I said ride them. Lead them ahead and then stop them. Ooh. We can back them up a step or two. And then we'll go to the other side.
Again, everything is going to re be reversed. I have the dressage whip in my left hand. I have a rein in each hand. And I'm going to try and stay loose unless I give him a signal. Again, just because he can do it on the left side doesn't mean he can do it on the right. So now I'm going to peel him off the fence. Lay my outside rein, my neck rein, on his neck and follow up with my inside rein if I have to. Then we can take him to the right, or to the left I mean. And don't let him just push you around either. If they're pushing into you too much, bump them on the shoulder. Or you can even use like your dressage whip handle. So they start moving off of your body. Right there, he's kind of pushing on me a little bit. So I'm going to just kind of back him off, push him a little bit with my dressage whip. Just to kind of get him off of me. That was a little better. Now I'm going to stop him. He kind of swung around. I'm going to straighten him up. Get around. Let me try again. He kind of tried to walk around me again, so I got a little bit more aggressive with the with the pulls on the on the halter. We'll try it again. Ooh. That's the basics of it. I think if you practice this a few times, and it'll be a big help toward the day when you do get on your coal for the first time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.